All right, real quick before I uh, I start the lesson, uh, please be sure to uh, like, share, and subscribe uh, to the channel. And when you do hit subscribe to my older and newer ones alike, uh, make sure you select all so you'll be notified of all my new videos that I upload um, because I'm still getting uh, reports that people aren't getting notifications of my new uploads. Um, I started a new segment called Real Talk Tuesdays. Um, a really good episode, episode one. So definitely check that out uh, when you have a moment. And, um, you know, let's continue all to do our part, right? So we can uh, keep the channel growing. All right. Good morning. Good afternoon. And good evening, everyone. This is Dr. Ephraim uh, saying Shabbat Shalom. Uh, today's date is June 26, 2021. Now, obviously, if you're listening to the sound of my voice, you are blessed to see another day and all praises due to the Most High God, Ahaya of Israel forever. And I'm saying Ahaya by Yeshem, Yeshua HaMashiach, Baruch Ata Adonai, for now and forever. All right. Uh, this uh, this lesson, this quick lesson, um, well, I don't know how quick it is, but, but it's some things I wanted to to, uh, to, to address or redress um, by grace and mercy of the Most High. I was led um, to this last night. And so um, I'm a humble man. Uh, and I've said many times, uh, I'm not above reproach. I don't take for granted uh, who the Most High has called me to be and you know, who's raised me up to be. I'm just a man, uh, flesh and bones, and a sinner after the Most High's own heart. In the spirit of King David, so if I if ever I'm wrong about something, like I said, I'm not above reproach. And I was led last time because I said something in the um in a this is a follow up to the 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 fallen angels uh, lesson. I said something that was uh, I said I made a statement to the effect of uh, Satan. Uh, I've heard for years that Satan was God's. Uh, he was a beautiful uh, creation and um, this and that. You know, a couple other things. But um, I was led that that that, that was incorrect. Um, and I'm going to get into uh, the scripture where it actually the Most High in first person uh, talks about that or mentions that. Um, so I, I, my apologies, my sincerest apologies. Um, but I'm redressing that, um, like I said, in the spirit of humbleness and um, apologizing to, to, to you all, the congregation and all my supporters worldwide. Um, and I'm just and it just goes to show that. You know, no one's above reproach. I know I'm not. I, I um, you know, I'm, I'm a humble, I'm a humble br brother. You know, so uh, when the Most High deals with me on something, you know, I immediately, you know, I address it. Like I said yesterday, whenever I'm led to something, uh, I, I'm, I'm obedient. Okay, um, I'm not so arrogant to say, well, I made a mistake. Well, that's just whatever. I made a mistake. You know, nah. If I made a mistake, you know, I offer my humblest apologies and then try to correct it. Uh, you know, if at all possible. All right. So again, there's a few other things I wanted to address too, in terms of the um, the uh, the reason he was cast out. And you know, y'all know I'm real big on things uh, lining up. And so, you know, like I shared with you all, um, I learned what happened. You know, um, through the Quran. You know, and um, I, I really believe throughout my journey, the Most High. Uh, wanted me to get something from every, from all my stops along the way. Um, I really believe that now, especially looking back retrospectively, right? And so, uh, B being real big on things lining up, you know, I've seen that uh, that version. It's in a book. Um, and I guess it's, it's an apocryphal book because it's not in the Bible. But I know that it lines up because there's a similar version of it in the Quran. And see, the, the, the beautiful thing about the Quran, to many of you who have no idea about um, the Islamic religion or, or, or the Quran, is that <clears throat> that book was, uh, was given to the Prophet Muhammad, not, not Elijah Muhammad, but the, the real Prophet Muhammad who lived back in, I think he was born in 653 A.D., um, and he couldn't, he couldn't read or write and see a lot of, a lot of his, a lot of detractors of Islam try to use that to say, well, how could a man who can't read or write, uh, you know, come out with a book like the Quran instead of seeing it for what it really is. Whereas the, the, the Quran was manifested to the prophet Muhammad by the angel Gabriel. Okay. So 
I may, you know, depending on the interest level, I may do a, a lesson on that in the future um, because I think it's important um, to understand. You know, my, my whole thing is if you want to form an opinion about something, form an intelligent, informed opinion about something. Don't speak on what you've heard or what you think you know because you'd be very surprised. A lot of things that we think is not what it is, right? So, you know, coming from, from, from a man who's, who's studied the religion, who's been in the religion, who's read the Quran, the whole Quran, more than once, who's been through Ramadan, you know, I've been through, I've been through all that. You know, I know for a fact that there are some really, um, some things in that book that did not come from a man. And you have to understand and know um, how the Most High works, you know, to understand that. You know, so people to talk ignorantly against things that they don't know, the Bible said it, you know, any man who wants to be ignorant, well, just let him stay ignorant then. And that's just that's just my position. I'm not going to ever argue or debate with anyone. But those who have a spiritual ear and want to hear, I'm all for, um, you know, coming forward with the truth. So let's get into it. Um, no further ado, let me address some of these things that I um, mentioned uh, in my uh, Fallen Angels video. So this is the fall of Satan from heaven, uh, part two. Let's get it. All right. Um, the fall of Satan. Uh, part two and you know, what the Most High says um, in first person um, starting the book of Ezekiel starting at chapter 28 in verse 12 um, it says you were the model of perfection full of wisdom and perfect in beauty you were in Eden the garden of God you were anointed as a garden cherub for so I ordained you you were on the holy mount of God you walked among the fiery stones. You were blameless in your ways from the day you were created till wickedness was found in you. Through your widespread trade, you were filled with violence and you sinned. So I drove you in disgrace from the Mount of God and I expelled you, O guardian cherub, from among the fiery stones. Your heart became proud on account of your beauty and you corrupted your wisdom because of your splendor. So I threw you to earth I made a spectacle of you before kings. So that is um, the most high summing up essentially, you know, why he did what he did as far as casting Satan uh, from heaven. So, yes, he was given, um, he was, uh, uh, you know, identified as, as having, you know, quote unquote beauty. Um, and so, yeah, that's not, that wasn't folklore, you know. So, again, uh, my apologies. Uh, for that, and um, but I, and I wanted to 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 correct that in the front of uh, the congregation. The man of God is not exempt from, uh, uh, you know, reproved, being reproved or reproached. Right? If you're wrong, you're wrong. It doesn't matter who you are, what your title is, or how much money you have, how much money you don't have. Right? <clears throat> we are all servants of the Most High, and um, you know, and that's the one great thing about the Most High, you know, because every the Bible tells us every way of a man is right in his own eyes, but the Lord pondereth the hearts, right? So yeah, I um, I stand on that. Uh, so so that's that. Um, now, what I wanted to, to the second part of what I wanted to address um, was was uh, what happened right uh from from satan's standpoint like i said um the uh there's two versions and 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 it, and it lines up right uh the life of adam and eve did not make its way you know to to uh to the bible through canon right but in the life of adam and eve and it was supposedly written by uh their son seth that story found finds its way there in the life of Adam and Eve, right? So um, I'm going to go through uh, some of what was said in that version uh, from the from the book of the life of Adam and Eve. All right, this um, this excerpt from the book of the life of Adam and Eve, it, it life of Adam and Eve, gives great insight into the thinking of of, of Satan. Uh, during that exchange and during that time, again, the, like I said, there's a, a, a slightly different version here 
where basically Michael is commanding him to bow before Adam. But but uh, when it found its way to the Quran, the Quran says, no, the Most High ordered him to bow before Adam. So anyway, let's, let's, let me go ahead and read this ep uh, excerpt from um, the book of the life of Adam and Eve. Um, that's considered apocryphal because it didn't make the canon, but but like I said, it lines up. It lines up with Quran. So I believe this to be uh, true, and I believe that this is what happened as to why Satan was was cast out. So here it goes. It goes, um, quote, groaning. Satan said, "O oh Adam, all my enmity, jealousy, and resentment is towards you, since on account of you I was expelled and alienated from my glory." which I had in heaven in the midst of the angels on account of you I was cast out upon the earth and Adam answered he said what have I done to you what fault do I have against you since you have not been harmed nor injured by us why do you persecute us and Satan answered and said Adam what are you saying it's on account of you I was cast out from heaven when you were formed I was cast out from the face of God and was sent forth from the company of the angels when God blew into you the breath of life and your countenance and likeness were made in the image of God Michael led you and made you worship in the sight of God the Lord the Lord God then said behold Adam I have made you in our image and likeness having gone forth Michael called all the angels saying worship the image of the Lord God just as the Lord God has commanded Michael himself worshiped first then he called me and said worship the image of God Jehovah I answered I do not have it within me to worship Adam when Michael compelled me to worship I said to him why do you compel me I will not worship him who was lower and posterior to me I am prior to that creature before he was made I had already been made he ought to worship me hmm hearing this other angels who were sent under me were unwilling to worship him Michael said worship the image of God if you do not worship the Lord God will grow angry with you Satan said if he grows angry with me I will place my seat above the stars of heaven and I will be like the Most High ah and that's where I, I believe he sealed his fate basically he said that so what if, if God gets mad? He'll just go higher. He'll, he'll place himself higher than who he is, and he'll be like him. Uh, that, 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 that's what I felt uh, sealed his fate when he, when, he, when he said that. So that exchange is very insightful, right? And, and again, it lines up. Now, the Quran, uh, I mean, for, for those who don't know, the Quran deals, and we deal in chapters and verses, the Quran deals in surahs and ayats. Surah is the chapter, ayats is the verse obviously so there are uh, several instances in Quran where it um, relays the story of, 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 of what I just said um, but let's see here we're gonna I'm not gonna read the whole thing but in the Quran the Quran's version basically it says uh, let's see here sure. Okay, and the Most High said, and this is starting in the, the seventh Surah, twelfth ayat. Uh, the Most High said, "What prevented you from bowing when I commanded you to do so?" And Satan said, "I am better than he. You created me from fire, and him you created from clay." And then it says, "The Most and the Most High says, then get you down from here." It does not behoove you to be arrogant here. So be gone. You will be among the humiliated. And then it goes on to say, Implicit in the Quranic expression and the idea of contentment with one's disgrace and indignity. For Sakhia is he who invites disgrace and indignity upon himself. Now, Satan was a victim of vanity and pride. See, in the most times, he, he spoke of that in Ezekiel. Okay, so that lines up. And for that very reason, defied God's command to bow himself before Adam. Satan was therefore guilty of self-inflicted degradation, false pride, baseless notion of glory, ill-founded illusions of greatness, failed to confer any greatness upon him. 
They could only bring upon him disgrace and indignity. Satan could blame none but himself for this sordid end. That's right. And so all of that lines up because most I spoke on that. Um, so let's see here. So um, then after after basically the Most High was, 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 was dismissing him and casting him out, he said, well, then I will come, up, I will come upon them. Basically, this was his, his, his war against man because this, this is why that exchange, so that exchange from the life of Adam and Eve makes sense as well because he felt Adam was responsible for him being cast out. He didn't, see, see Satan was the original narcissist. <laughs> see, he didn't, he didn't understand that it was his arrogance that got him to done him in. He blamed Adam. Right. I mean, classic narcissist. <laughs> right. So I think I think we're looking at Satan as being the, the world's the, the, the first narcissist, man, because he he blaming Adam for something that is his fault. <laughs> but he ain't taking no responsibility. So he, he, he caused himself to get kicked out. But he want to blame Adam. And man, he said, man, it's because of you. I was cast out. <laughs> oh, that's funny, man. That is funny. Uh, but then he said that. Um, uh, I will come upon them from the front and from the back and from the right and from their left and, and you will not find most of them thankful. This is Satan talking to the Most High. And this was the challenge thrown down by Satan to God. What it meant is that Satan would make use of the respite granted to him until the last day and he would do so in order to prove that Nian did, did, um, did not deserve a, a position superior to his and this had after all been bestowed upon him by God. So doing, he would expose how ungrateful, thankless, and disloyal a creature man is. Wow. So there we go. Um, and that, that, what I just read, there was excerpts from the Quran, okay? So, you know, all praises do, you know, to the Most High, Yahya. You know, so like I said, I'm real big on things lining up. And that most definitely everything lines up because the Most High spoke of it in the book of Ezekiel of Satan being proud and beautiful, beautiful and and. and arrogant and it spoke to the it said the same thing in Quran so it lines up um again I may I may do a lesson on on the history of of that because a lot of people just don't know or ignorant to the fact you know that the, the, the holy Quran is not a book that just kind of showed up um and what a lot of people don't know is, is, is that book as it was uh given to the prophet Muhammad has not changed not one single bit because in that book, the Most High promised that no one would be able to touch it, and no one has. The Quran is what it's been since its inception, and uh, untouched. There's no different versions, like you know, of, of the Quran. You know, another beautiful thing. There's only one version, right? So anyway, um, that's pretty much it. You know, like I said, I wanted to kind of just you know correct that wrong, if you will, and, and just give a little more context. Um, to the to the to the lesson from yesterday as far as the fallen angels Satan's fall um, so yeah if you got some time I think there's a there's a PDF version of the book uh, of life of Adam and Eve you know do a do a Google search for the book of life of Adam and Eve uh, comma PDF and it should come up you should get it for free or whatever and, you know and check it out um, so yeah and I also think I might do a book of some of the some of the other books man some of the other so-called apocryphal books like the the um the apocalypse of peter yes that's that's a good one um and especially because the apocalypse of peter was almost um in the place of revelation i think i mentioned that before but yeah but anyway that's it my people i'm looking forward to um uh shabbat sermon later on um it's dealing i'm dealing with um with faith faith in uh faith in god and in, in, in god's protection so it's going to be a good one i'm definitely don't want to miss that so uh, so I wanted to uh, address that real quick, you know, um, again, Shabbat Shalom, this is Dr. Ephraim signing off, um, I'll, I'll talk to you guys later, so enjoy the rest of your Shabbat, this, uh, I'm signing off, saying hi by Yashem, Yeshua HaMashiach, Baruch Atah Adonai, Shabbat Shalom, elect.